Okay, we have one, two. Good morning! So the time is 7.26. Don't know if you guys can see that. 7.26, not too early up in the morning. I am heading to the gym. I have a workout sesh, and then I'm gonna be doing my vending machines today and my notary and maybe some other stuff as well. So you're gonna see what I eat, what I do, and I think it's gonna be a good time. Let me know if you like this video. So my gym is One Life. Sometimes I do the classes, and this day I have like a training going on, so let's get to it. Alright, so all done with the workout. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, eat some breakfast, print out my paperwork, and then we have our first signing at 10 a.m. And then after that, vending machines. Alright, so before I jump in the shower, I am going to print out my papers for my signing at 10. You just want to make sure that you're prepared because you're gonna be driving everywhere and driving has to make up for some of your time. This place isn't very far, but I still need to eat, take a shower, and make sure all these things print out well. So this is 129 pages. So we got some vegan crab cakes and some rice. Anyone who's in Virginia and you want to try some vegan food, specifically some vegan crab cakes, go to Desmond's Caribbean Grill in Virginia Beach. All vegan, all Caribbean food. It is so good. All right, first signing is 33 minutes away and it is $90. Okay, so I just got out of my first signing for today. I have two. So I'm on my way to the vending machines. Um, someone from the location texted me saying that it's not working. So hopefully it's not like a huge problem and I can solve it myself because I do not want to have to pay. So let's go head over there. So the good news is that it's not broke. Sorry, they're doing work back there. Is that the machine is actually not broke. I just miscounted how many sodas were in there. So the app was telling me that I had a lot of sodas left, but the machine actually didn't have any sodas left. I'm doing honey buns on top and bottom because it's the best seller. And then in the back is gonna be the apple pies. I didn't bother collecting any of the money because, I don't know, I just wanted it to add up a little bit more. So put down below how much you guys think I made in that machine when I showed you. Also, when I was trying to take this out, it burst open. Luckily, it's vegan, so I've never had Swedish fish before, but they taste okay. Put down below what you guys' favorite candy is. I can't believe like some people go crazy over these. It's not that good. Okay. 
Okay, this is one of the places where I where I don't fill up the whole machine because I am moving this machine. I just need to find someone to move it since most of the places are denying moving anything right now. My vendor broke his foot and he has a lot of family issues going on so I have to find someone else to move it. Long story short, I'm not gonna fill this whole thing up because it's not my best location. But let's take a look at the money. It's probably barely anything like always. How much do you guys think this is? I'd say like $30. All right, the time is 2.42. I have some expired products, so I rarely ever get to eat any of this stuff because it's not vegan. But I have nutted butters and some pretzels that are basically expired. And then I have a box full of old products. This is the new box that I just bought, but I put it with the expired products and I'm let the girls pick through that to eat it. I'm gonna go home, eat just a little bit of like a lunch. It's kind of late for lunch, but I'm gonna have like vegan pizza pockets and then print my papers out, relax for a little bit, and then head to my signing at five o'clock. That's okay. My name is uh, uh, Chris, my last name is Lowell. All right, so the time is now four o'clock. One more signing to do, and then I should be done at a good time it'd be like six o'clock trying to drive home and everything so made a pretty good amount of money today with vending and with my notary business so if you guys want to do a one-on-one -on -one session with me for notary i had my first one a few nights ago i met um, one of my subscribers and we talked for almost two hours teaching him about notary having him do the whole entire speech with me. It was a lot of fun meeting him and I hope that he felt that he got what he paid for. So if you want to do the same thing with me, then just email me down below and I'll put it on the screen for you guys and we'll go through it all. It's gonna be a great time. You guys get to meet me. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> okay, so I'm home now and I'm sitting in front of my computer. I'm about to start answering some of you guys' emails about my notary sessions that I'm gonna be giving so remember the notary sessions are gonna be literally us on Skype talking to each other for almost two hours I'm gonna give you places that you need to put your name and information to start getting calls like I do text messages and emails I'm gonna go over the paperwork with you I have a hundred page document that we're gonna be going over I know a hundred pages it's a lot but that's why it's gonna take so long we're gonna to get to know each other we're gonna to talk to each other personally it's gonna be almost like we're friends and I'm gonna be holding your hand throughout this whole entire notary session lesson that I'm going to be giving you so I am going to be answering some of, this, some of these emails and if you want to book a session with me go ahead and email me at this email right here and it'd be great meeting you guys this is the person who I had my first one-on-one -on -one meeting with and they said it was great it was so nice meeting you so if you're watching this eh, thank you <laughs> can you see my thumbs up thank you for the review <laughs> All right, so I think I have all my emails sent in. I really hope I didn't miss anybody. My email seems to be really full with stuff right now. So I have a signing at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So I am going to print off that paperwork for that and I should be done with the day. So I probably will be done around eight o'clock. So it's 7.36 right now. So I'll probably get done before eight o'clock depending on how fast my printer prints. And before I go, you go, before I go, I wanna show you guys the checks. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Five checks came in today. So we're gonna add that all up and that is this amount. Hey guys, so it's a different day, but I've been getting a lot of questions about the process of becoming a notary. So basically I signed up online, I'm renewing my registration, but you guys can do it the same way. Some states require you to send it in through mail, but Virginia allows you to send your renewal or your new application um, online to become a notary. Pay like $45 for the renewal, for the renewal, and now I'm gonna pay $10 to get my license. So I'm going to court right now today, September 16th, 
to go pick up my license. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is. This is my renewal receipt. And here we are. All right, so it only took about three minutes and I got sworn in. Your girl is sworn in for another four years. So that's my little stamp here. Still sitting at the courtroom. You're gonna have to put your right hand up be sworn in that you're gonna ab abide to the laws of perjury and stuff like that. I don't remember everything she said. It was very exciting though. And then she stamped off, you sign and you get your license. So this is gonna be my renewal license. So my new expiration date is 2024. Eee! So that's how easy it is you guys. Just do your application pay your $30, $45 for your state, whatever it is, send it in or put it in on online, depending on your state, come to the courthouse within 60 days and swear in, that's it. If you don't come after 60 days, then you're gonna have to reapply again. So for everybody who was asking, yeah. So I spent $45 on renewal and then I spent $10 on getting the paper so there you go it's that easy thank you so much for you guys watching this video what do you think comment down below what do you think about notaries what do you think about the vending machine business do you want my catalog do you want a one-on-one -on -one session with me i am very happy that you guys are following my journey to us becoming financially stable in our futures as millennials or any other generation but i know most of the people watching my videos are millennials and generation x so I am very happy to help you guys out and I'll talk to you later.